Welcome to the Micromagic Basic Tuning Guide. In this short five minute video we'll cover some of the basic elements of tuning your Micromagic. Tuning the Micromagic can be quite different to other classes and often what works with other boats will not always work with the Micromagic. So with this in mind we'll kick off with some of the things that you shouldn't do. This is Plummer holding his championship winning Mark II. On first sight she looks very nice However, a boat set up like this will not be fast, or at least not fast in the right direction. We want to set the boat up so she goes as fast as possible when she's sailing close to the wind. You can see here that the jib boom is pulled in far too close to the centre line. It's often referred to as being oversheeted. The main boom is also too close to the centre line for the micromagic something which big boat sailors are going to find difficult to get used to. There is little if any twist in either of the sails which leads to a very close slot between the jib and the mainsail and this all results in, well apart from a very dodgy horizon. Well let's take a look. All looks fine downwind but as soon as we turn up into the wind and sheet in, oh dear, an awful lot of heeling over and the boat is very twitchy. The boat's going sideways almost as fast as she's moving forward and if there was much more wind we would find it very difficult to tack through it. This is Greg Brown's lovely Mark II GBR 35. She's a very standard boat but there are a few things that you can do that will make a difference on the water. You can see that the mainsail is set quite high and I'd recommend that the sail be lowered to just above the boom fitting. Once this is done, the back of the boom can be lowered. Fitting the boom with the bottle screw at the bottom would also make lowering the mainsail easier. The front of the jib boom has been arranged very well, however the pivot point is fixed with string, is not adjustable, will become prone to breakage and really the boom should be a lot closer to the deck. The boom sheeting position could also do with being a little bit further forward. We've set Greg's boat up in the same way as the boat we saw sailing a little earlier. The first thing we'll do is add some shape to the sails. Undo the clamp on the back of your jib boom and slide it towards the front a few millimetres. This puts camber or shape into the sail. The Micromagic seems to like quite a bit of camber in the jib. Next we'll do the same on the main boom for the mainsail. And adjust your sheeting so that the end of the main boom is off centre by an inch or so. That's 25 to 35 millimetres for you young'uns. This will vary depending on your wind. The more there is, the more you should ease the boom out. The end of the jib boom should be about halfway between the centre line and the edge of the deck. Now we have a basic slot between the jib and the mainsail. The next thing to do is to set the twist up. We need twist for acceleration and because the wind speed is higher towards the top of the sail. To do this we attach a line from the back end of the jib boom which we can tighten and this induces twist into the sail. We now match this twist in the mainsail by twisting the bottle screws on the main boom. The trick here is to try and get the same twist in each sail. Look down from above so you can see how much effect you're having. It's worth noting your positions as it's a lot harder to do this by the side of a lake with the wind blowing your sails about. Back on the water with Plumber's boat. Again, it all seems fine off the wind, but the jib does look a little too twisted. Sure enough, we can see that when we try and sail upwind, the wind is pushing the sail the wrong way. This is known as backing. It's not as bad as too little twist, but it's still not fast. So, a little tweak, reduce the twist a little, and we'll have another go. Now that looks about perfect. If you have any questions, go to www.magicmicro.org.